This one is just a slight variant of the, the Melvin octopus, which is basically all olive. Uh, there's two or three variants, but this is just a, another variant of that fly. Now, the thread I'm going to be using is a uni, and it's in chartreuse and AO size. Now, all I'm doing is putting down a layer of thread. You could use olive or yellow thread, it's up to yourself, whatever colour you want to use. Now, I've taken the thread down, all the way down until threads in line with the bar by the hook. Now for the tag I'm going to be using, this is number 14, uh, Mylar tinsel. It's gold and silver, obviously. What well, silver one side and gold on the other. Now I want the gold side to be on top, so what I normally do is have the silver facing myself, sticking it down, bring the thread back up, securing in the tinsel using in this case some super glue. Just don't put too much on. As you bring it around it'll stick. Just protect the tag. It'll last much longer if you do this. Take it all the way up to this point here. Stick it across the thread and wind two or three turns up the way. Now what I normally like to do is make sure this is tied down. Now it's going to be a dub body so you don't have to worry too much about a level space body. I mean, if I was doing this uh, a, a floss body, I would carry on the way all the way up, just to take out the step, cutting away the the tag, and that's it ready. Now for the tail, I'm going to use this is Glowbright number eleven. Now there's sixteen strands of this fine floss, all brushed together, to form this tail. All I do is put it on top, a couple of turns, full length of the body. Now there's going to be two hackles at the front, One, there's going to be three all together. There's going to be a body hackle, there's a middle hackle and front hackle. So you've got to make sure you get enough room up here. Now there's a good two and a half, two, two and a half, three mil of a space here. Now the tail's not that long, so I, I would say around about six mil or so, no more than that for the tail. And then for the rib, I'm going to tie in a small oval gold tinsel. Now all I'm going to do is secure these in just now. Just take your thread down, tying them in, your, ta your tail and your rib. Put your way down and then come back up. Nice and tight. Then get some, this is I say, your olive glister. Olive glisters. It's a very good material. If you don't like it too shiny, what I normally, what I would do is Blend it with, I say, an olive seals fur just to take the bite out of it. But this one does have quite a shiny body. Put it on reasonably thick. You want the hackle to sit into it. Now you can really leave it as it is, bring your rib up through, or you could put a palmered hackle down it. I'm going to take an olive. This is a saddle hackle. A Mets grade 2 saddle hackle dyed olive. So you tie it onto the side and run up and back down. And then take this down as a palmer for your hackle. Looking probably around about say four, five turns. If you want it heavier than that, it's up to yourself. But that's a bit that's okay with that. Just bring your rib up through, tying in the hackle. So you can break this off. Now before I bring the last turn of the rib in front, I just pull everything back and bring it up, bring the thread with it and put a 90 degree bend into it. Just be careful at that point because you could cut your thread. And then I make sure I secure this down. It's important that that's really tied in, or really well tied in, because it is holding quite a bit of the material, the materials onto the, the hook itself. Now what I'm going to do here is get some Velcro. Just rough it up, bring out some of the, the olive glister through the hackle. Take it back and forward. Just watch your thread, because you could burst your thread if you don't watch. Then, just got a hen hackle. This here's olive. It's actually 
20 years or two, I'll show you, there's, there's the saddle here, this is a cock saddle, but see at the very back, you get these like, what they call slapping type feathers, very soft, these are ideal, if you want a turn of soft tackle, you get plenty of turns out of it, now that's one turn, there's plenty, cross the thread, two or three turns down, and then I fold back the tip, keep that for your next fly, keep the thread tight, and break it off. Now, this is the golden pheasant skin, and the rump is the yellow part, this yellow feather here, which is going to be the front hackle. Just take one off, just remove the fluff, just pull it back, pull it off so to reveal the stem. Now you're going to tie this in by the tip, it's much easier to do that. Just reveal the tip by stroking the fibres back. Come in, with the good side of the feather facing yourself. Three or four turns down and pull back the tip. Don't let the tip go, just bring it out through your fingers. And trim it away. If you let it go, it disappears into the feather and you spend more time trying to find it. So then what I do here is stroke back these fibres and then do one turn in front of the other put in the front hackle all the way around see how it sits bring up the thread beside the stem again that 90 degree bend into it that stops it pulling back now I'm going to carry on down towards the end of the eye and fold back the stem and then build up the thread securing that in don't do anything else other than go straight in and wet finish. Just ignore that stem just now, you can trim it off any time. Trim away a thread. Come in. You could break this away or come in with your scissors, just the edge of the scissors. And break it off. And there you are. And that there is one of the many octopus patterns that's out there. And uh, certainly gaudy and colour wise it works extremely well and all you have to do come in with a coat of varnish or two just use an old piece of wire or hackle clean out the eye take away the excess here and there you go and that there is one of the variants of the, the Melbourne octopus.